Market find as soon as the arena's done banging around over there. But uh, this is a one person bucking saw. Found it at the uh, antique bazaar a couple weeks ago. Let's see if I can get this uh, strap off of it. Yeah, I'll just put that there. But uh, yeah, she's in pretty good shape. Came with the handle and everything. See which direction does the handle go? Maybe the handle goes the other way. I forget. Let's see if I can do this without cutting my hand off. Yeah, it needs a good tap. But uh, I haven't used it yet. But I thought that was pretty slick for um, oh about a dollar forty. And uh, I think the teeth need to be set. But they have been sharpened, so this baby would uh, probably cut pretty good. And you know, I got some wood over there. Maybe we should try it out. What do you think? Let's see what we got. Alrighty, first time to cut. This is some green plum, I believe. So let's see if I can uh, get this thing situated. push blade well, that's not cutting too bad at all you can buck up some firewood pretty quick with this boom how about that for a dollar forty for an antique saw? That uh, yeah, somebody's smoking me out here. <laughs> the uh, fire's just to your left, but uh, yeah, not bad at all. Some bird crapped on the saw while I was getting the piece of wood. Well, anyway, there it is. Another saw that I picked up. This time, here we go. Picked this up at Lowe's last year. Folds up. It's it was in the uh, garden section and with the pruning saws. I was looking for bow saw blades and I saw this and you know it, it locks closed so it doesn't come open by accident. Push the button and it locks open. Push the button and close. But uh, this is a pull saw. It cuts better on the pull stroke anyway. You know not bad for about 20 bucks. You go online, you you know the bush crafters. They spend an upwards of 30 bucks or so for a, a Baco uh, Laplander, or you know even more for a silky saw. And uh, geez, just go to Lowe's, spend 20 bucks. Not a bad deal at all. And uh, all of the pruning that I've done here, I did with this saw. It's really nice because it fits right in your back pocket. You can climb the tree, get up the ladder, and do whatever you want to do. Well, that's it for the product review. And uh, I have a couple other flea market finds that I would uh, I want to share with you, but I'll do that when we get home. And uh, yeah, you're gonna you're probably gonna like some of these things. Good homestead tool right there, both of these. Good good to have. You can stick this in your pocket and go do whatever if you're if you're a bushcrafter or a, you know, a wild wild camper. You know, fits in your it don't weigh nothing. Fits right in your pack. Good stuff. Okay, later fans. Mm -hmm.